Back when I was a small child in fifth grade and we wanted to have some fun, we would often play flash games on the school computers. These games ranged from clicker heroes on cool math games to this scuffed version of Minecraft. Now I wasn't like most kids, I actually played Balloons Tower Defense on Tyrone's Unblocked Games and thought Balloons was spelled like Balloons. I professionally made BTD3, but sometimes me and my friends would try to be up to date with the newest games and play BTD5. However, we really didn't like it because every time you loaded the game, you were level 1, had no money, and nobody wanted to talk to you. I was okay with this feeling because back in 5th grade, I always felt like this. I was a smart kid with an abnormal amount of hair, had no money, and nobody wanted to talk to you. I was essentially Megamind in 5th grade. This is confusing as in the movie Megamind starring Megamind. Megamind was in the same situation as me in 5th grade, but he ended up becoming Megamind from Megamind. So where did I go wrong? In 5th grade, my goal was to get people to talk to me. That didn't work out, but Megamind, his goal was to be the baddest boy of them all. And it's never too late to change, so today, I'm gonna become the baddest boy in BTD5 to prove to 5th grade me that BTD5 is the coolest game anybody can play. Loading the game, it's actually pretty loud, loud enough for me to use my headphones as speakers. Now, this was my first mistake. Bad boys listen to extremely loud music and have horrible hearing. Welcome to BTD5. Shut up. See, that's a bad boy response. I already want to quit, but I need content, so let's click on this present. It's like when the Dartling Gun came out, but if it's not the Dartling Gun, I don't want it. I don't think there's a tutorial, which is strange, but a bad boy doesn't need a tutorial. Okay, I don't actually know how to be a bad boy exactly. I think it's just be a threat, don't follow the rules, and maybe look like a soft boy. Don't worry though, this video will be a comprehensive guide on bad boys from how to become one to their own history. But first, we actually have to play BTD5. We're playing easy mode on this map, and there's a dartling gun. That's a reference to my Balloons Monkey City video. Dart Monkey, look how fast we're leveling up. Screw a second Dart Monkey, tax shooter in a spot. Not a good spot, because we bad boys are complete garbage at balloons. Our dart monkeys can now see farther, but their eyesight is nothing compared to the sniper monkey who can find and eliminate any nice guys in the world. Okay, I do regret putting that tax shooter there. I'm gonna sell it and put it next to its friends. I don't care about road spikes. As I was saying, bro, I want a special agent. Unfortunately, I'm poor and cannot afford a doomsday device that only costs $250, which is somehow cheaper than this bad boy leather jacket. That's another thing. Bad boys love leather, from boots, to jackets, to pants. If you want to stand out in a crowd of bad boys, just staple a cow's head to your crotch. Here's our defense so far. We almost have a balloon jitsu worth of ninja monkeys, but I don't think it will be enough to handle the round 40 Moab. There was no round 40 Moab. It was on round 46. The person who decided that the Moab would come out on this round of all rounds is one of the baddest boys out there and a role model to me. I had no issue with beating that map and got a medal, $150 and one token. I might be able to use this token as a Hot Topic gift card to get my bad boy fit. But first, I need to use the bathroom. Okay, next time, don't eat Wendy's with four slashes. Hi chimps, I'm back. We now have autumn leaves, but I actually need to blackboard this map first. Instead of doing both of those things, I went to go and purchase a weapon of mass destruction for only $250. Media mode, I'm doing good. I have some cool things like real estate, farms, no workers, explosives, and Superman. But those pale in comparison to the dartling gun. This is a monkey that helped me start my own country in Balloons Monkey City. Speaking of that Balloons Monkey City, I have my own country. That's pretty cool. Plus, if bad boys don't follow the rules, then I'm the baddest boy of them all for not following international laws and having a bad country. Meaning I'm better than this guy, this guy, Megamind, and all the other bad boys in history so I can finally end the vid- Wait, that was in Balloons Monkey City. I need to become a bad boy in BTD5, and I haven't even talked about the history of bad boys. I'll do that later, but for now, round 63, this round was extremely easy for me. Can I end the video again? We're on a track to practice running away from hard rounds. Thankfully, there were no hard rounds due to the fact that I legally owned two sun gods. 
I don't know what map this is and I don't like it. Anyway, I'll start off with a dart monkey and a boomerang because I need to become a well-rounded individual by unlocking all the upgrades for all of my towers. From the weak glue gunner to the godly dartling gun, they all need to be max level. Now leveling up some of these towers is going to be quite hard, like the ace monkey. In BT6, it was okay, but in this game, it might be one of my least favorite towers out there. Remember that present from before? Here it is, a submarine and two maps. I actually hate it. I'm going to place my first sub in a spot where it physically cannot attack anything. I'm quite sure my bad boy journey is going well, but to make it go better, I should know what a bad boy actually is. Hmm. I don't think I can achieve this look without being called a racist, so I'm going to do what nobody should do, ever. Add TikTok to the end of it. This is truly the dark side of the internet. Why do good girls like bad guys? Sure, maybe I can learn the bad boy standard. Okay, so he's a bad boy because he doesn't wear a seatbelt and looks like Leafy and the One Slur. Oh my god, wait, they're the same person. This is what we call a modern bad boy because bad boys have been around for centuries, dating back to the Quaternary period when Ba Bu saw his wife cheating on with Nazca. So he smashed his skull in with a rock. From that point onward, bad boys have been prevalent throughout history. My favorite being Megamind, who moved out when he was only 8 days old and survived living in a prison. That is actually quite impressive. He might be able to survive a Discord server without being groomed. There are many other bad boys. However, he is someone I truly want to be because I want the bad to the bone to play every time I do something cool. So then I can have the patent for the most useless thing in history. We won, and now I'm at the monkey lab to buy money with Hot Topic gift cards. I also bought land so I can buy the dartling ammo dump to give my dartling guns plus one pierce. It might not sound like a lot, but trust me, Balloons Monkey City would say the opposite. We're back here on hard mode to have our epic bad versus good fight between me and round 63, and I won. But in the movie Megamind, when Megamind wins, he gets sad. I don't feel anything, so I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. Okay, now I actually feel something. Joy, because I just unlocked the Hydra Rocket Pods. In one hour of gaming, I went from level 1 to 30, but the next day wasn't as good. I just realized that the monkey on the title screen doesn't actually make noise, meaning this game is inferior to the Flash version. Also, I can't hear any sound. Thankfully, reloading the game brings it back, so I won't have to use my voice to simulate BTD5 sounds. We're on walk in the park, which should be a walk in the park because I now have Hydra rocket pods so i basically won sadly our base dartling guns only have one pierce so we need to buy a house for them but first i need to buy my bad boy drip here it is starting from the bottom these vintage doc martens i found on ebay because nothing screams bad boy like not knowing how to properly care for your leather footwear socks we don't need that trash i'm cutting holes in the bottom of my shoes to be able to feel the gravel on my toes super skinny jeans to the point where it cuts off circulation to the lower half of my body so i won't be able to feel the gravel on my toes. Edgy band t-shirt to prove to you that I listen to underground music and none of this crappy new age music. Faux leather jacket because I spent too much money on the shirt so I have to cheap out on the jacket. Mesh fingerless gloves to show you that my parents no longer respect me but then again you're watching my videos meaning you already know this. And finally people used to say that I was an academic weapon. I don't want to be an academic weapon I just want to be a weapon. So I bought a spiky collar to turn my throat into the bad that is the improvised mace. However, if you try to strangle me with my own collar, I'll say I like it as a joke until I lose consciousness and then literally die. This is actually the worst map for dartling guns. I can't believe I'm this bad at BTD5. Let's see if the dartling guns can be a singular Moab. Okay. Jesus, are dartling guns really this bad on this map? Yes, they are. Either that or the dartling cheese does not work in this game, and I don't want that to happen. This might be the hardest map if dartling guns can't beat it, so let's buy a doomsday device and place it down. I don't want to use it yet because I fear that you can only end the world one time. I'm going to use it because I have no fears, and turns out it's pretty strong and the world can end twice when JayStation comes back to YouTube. That device must have also ended the life for the muscles holding in my poop because I need to use the bathroom again. Is it supposed to be shaped like that, or do I really need to see a doctor? Hi, chimps, I'm back. The doomsday device actually came in handy, which is scary, because that means darling guns aren't that good. Huh. I'm going to get a singular helipilot to get XP for it. Remember, being a bad boy means being able to be bad with any tower in BTD5. 
there's a leaderboard in this game to show the public people who really need a new hobby. Let's play some special missions. Here we have $50,000 to beat 50 Moabs. I thought Darling Guns would be pretty good at handling group of balloons. Apparently they're not. Dartlings didn't work, but his son got with a robot does work. I'm really starting to lose faith in Darling Guns. It's actually making me quite depressed because this is a strategy that I've perfected by religiously exploiting it in Balloons Monkey City, and now it doesn't work anymore. <sighs> Next map, all balloons are camos. Darlings can pop camos by default, so we're good. At this point in my journey, I didn't really know what I wanted to get. More importantly, I didn't know what would make me a better boy. I thought it would be to unlock the hardest map, but SJB can beat it, and I need to be better than him. How about getting every achievement in BTD5? No, I still have to get the daily read in BTD6. We have to go one at a time. There is, however, one more option to become a bad boy. Why try to unlock the hardest map when you can make a beginner map an advanced map? This is mastery mode. When you activate it, every single balloon gets one extra layer. So red balloons become blue balloons, yellow balloons become pink balloons, Moabs become BFBs. I don't know what Zoom G's become because I just realized that fortified balloons do not exist in this game. Unfortunately, to unlock mastery mode, you need to black border 17 beginner maps and get at least one medal on 39 other maps. That is a total of 107 games that I need to play, with 17 of them being impoppable. Impoppable for all you soy boys out there is the hardest game mode in BTD5 because chimps do not exist. So my fellow chimpanzees, none of you exist, which is pretty bad of you. There is a way to make those games go by quicker, but I'm too poor to afford it. We're here to defend the Monkey City from the bad guys. However, Darkling Guns worked on this map. It has two lanes! I did an odyssey and found an extremely effective way to level up towers. All you do is just get rich enough to afford 37 spike factories and just put them around the map like a total idiot. I'm here to beat Impopple. My strategy is pretty bad. Not that kind of bad, it just sucks. I got my dartling gun and life got worse. How did this happen? I got even more dartlings and they still struggled with a Moab. There were six of them. I hate this bad game. Shut the fuck! We're in the 80s, and this strategy I have here will need its own video to perfectly describe the intricate details and precise placements of each tower. Also, Round 85 has a lot of zoom keys. Thankfully, Hydro Rocket Pods are really good with balloons at high densities. So are Dartling Guns good? I have no idea. I have enough money to purchase bigger beacons, which probably makes the village's radius 2% larger. Medium mode is pretty difficult, and because I don't have camo, let's get a village- What the hell? That's a little bigger than 2%. Could be 7, we don't know yet. We have to run more mathematical calculations. This strategy is what I like to call United Alaskan Delta Virgin Malaysian FedEx Express Airlines. Is there any rhyme or reason as to what I'm doing? No. I played some very easy maps until I felt bad enough to try to beat an expert map. Drag strip. And finally, we get some good music. This song doesn't make me want to start crying randomly. This should have been the Megamind soundtrack. The badge on the Dartling gun was actually designed for this map. So you would have one missile hit the top track, one would hit the bottom track, and the middle one hits absolutely nothing. Our victory resulted in us unlocking an airplane map, which was actually designed for the United Alaskan Delta Virgin Malaysian FedEx Express Airlines strat. However, I don't feel safe going there with my army. Moab Mars shoot missiles at anything that's big and can fly. Airplanes are big and can fly. I forgot to mention the thing that would make these games go by quicker. It's called Fast Track. All it does is make you start round 26 with $5,000. But technically, it's not cheating. No, it is cheating. But it's not double cash, so I'm still pretty bad. God, I wish I never invented you. I'm gonna try and pop one on the race map, and I'm already dead. Excellent. I somehow made it to the map. I do have two Maulers, though, so I should be good here. We're at the airport. I don't see any airplanes. They must be trying to do the United Alaskan Delta Virgin Airlines shut the hell up strategy. I would have rather taken my chances by accidentally hitting them with a rocket instead of losing because I don't like losing. Chimps, very exciting news. Ninja Kiwi just updated BTD5. <coughs> they added a new map, new DLC, and a new special agent that I deeply despise and will never use. Just kidding, bad boys are good at lying. I used it on this map where you're only allowed to use special agents. First, I used a little turtle man. I like him, he's pretty cool. Then I placed down a kiwi and realized that they are complete garbage. Unless I use 50 of them, then they're probably still garbage. 
I really don't understand its purpose. However, I do understand the purpose of weapons with destructive capabilities. To cleanse the earth of rubber. Victory, what the hell is up with the music? Ninja Kiwi, you funny. I wanted to use the balloon chipper as it is not in BTD6, and I didn't use it in Balloon Monkey City. There was a good reason as to why I didn't use it. I don't want to do that again, but I'm homeless, so I can't buy a continue. Now this map is something I like because it has a cool song. And that's it. Chimps, my bad boy training arc has entered its main phase. Grinding BTD5 to get all the medals I need to unlock mastery mode. So while we do that, let's actually become bad boys. Remember that bad boy guide from before? We're not gonna use it. I don't know what I looked up, but I'm on an Alpha M video right now. So I'm gonna watch it and then give you a brief summary of it later. I'm gonna teach you how to go from being the nice guy to a bad boy. Okay. Did I just watch an ad for underwear? Now, turns out, bad boys don't only wear leather jackets, they also wear bomber jackets. However, I'm quite disappointed that he did not mention the suicide bomber vest. As I said, that whole video was made to advertise underwear. But speaking of clothing for your legs, this alpha male said that tight jeans are preferred to accentuate my ass. So now, I am not an idiot for cutting off circulation to my legs. This discovery also made me realize that these bad boys are trying to get women. If you don't know, here on the Maximal Dot channel, we are incapable of talking to women because we play BT6. We don't really do much, which is okay, but when we do something, it's usually not a good thing because we are dangerous individuals known as gamers. These funny memes perfectly depict us gamers as the dangerous individuals that we are. Also, when we talk to women, it's not called W Riz, it's just straight up sexual harassment. Because us bad boys go above and beyond when it comes to women. He also said we have to be both physically and mentally strong. Since we're gamers, we have no real body muscle, but we do have a lot of mental strength from people what? yelling you racial slurs at us You stupid Bad boys also go for what they want. Now, if it's something in a game, we will do anything for it. If it's in the real world, we're not gonna get it, and that's perfectly okay. We shouldn't really be doing anything in the real world for everyone's safety. Also, bad boys have things going on in their lives. Apparently, it makes them more interesting. Now, I do have things going on in my life. I have to grind B to D5 to unlock mass. Mode. Outside of that, I don't really do anything with my day, but then again, that's okay. Soy boys are friends with women. We can't talk with women, so we're not soy boys. Hey chimps, guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> I unlocked mastery mode. This is going to be very easy for me as I have done a lot of training by beating maps on easy mode. I won't tell you exactly how I did it. It's like my OnlyFans, you have to pay for it. But if you do, you are extremely lonely and no one will talk to you. Let's try monkey lane mastery mode on impoppable. If this is too hard for me, I will end the video. We're gonna start with an engineer, then sell it for an actually good tower. Farms are essential for this as we're going to need a lot of money to get good defense, also known as 15 Hydra Rocket Pods. Route 38 normally has rainbows, but because this is mastery, it has ceramics. If we survive this, I'll be not surprised at all because I knew this was gonna happen. Now if we survive this, then I'll be surprised. I am not surprised. I think 5 Darling Guns should beat this. Now Round 40 has a couple of Moabs. <laughs> I'm going to sell everything for a single Hydra Rocket Pod. It didn't even beat the ceramics! I had to sell all of my farms just to afford a defense, and I don't like how that worked. We should be able to rebuild our farms, right? Let's go! By the way, round 46 is a BFB. However, that's not the real issue. The real issue is round 47, because Ninja Kiwi thought it would be funny to ruin my life and only my life. I don't know how we're going to survive, but I know that I pressed the goddamn escape button. I said it was going to end the video if I lost, but I want to give my good friend, the Balloon Shipper, its redemption arc. This is because I've heard that they're really good when it comes to mastery mode. Now, I'm going all in with this. I'm going to spend almost $5,000 to max out the specialty ability for the Balloon Shipper. This building makes it so that the balloons sucked in by the Balloon Shipper are slowed and stunned for a period of time. Engineer, then Dartling, but I just realized that Darling Guns suck without their specialty building, so I died and started with a ninja. Okay, next round has leads, and I do think that a base balloon chipper can pop leads. Yeah, 
Th that's why he has his upgrade dedicated to popping leads, you dumb bitch. I tried using pineapples and I failed miserably. So instead, I sold my farm to buy heavy duty suction and dual layer blades, which has nothing to do with sucking. Round 37 was pretty tough, especially the camos, so tough that I legitimately forgot that this was unpopable and you only have one life. This time I remembered and used my free dartling gun to prepare for round 37. This round is hard, so let's increase our sucks per minute by getting another balloon chipper. Sadly, we didn't have enough suction and couldn't suck enough. Guys, I'm really sorry. Now we have enough suction. However, I do believe that long range suck would have prevented me from dying. I'm just gonna use a continue. I don't care about being a bad boy anymore. I just wanna beat this. I really hope that super wide funnel actually makes the balloon chipper stronger. I don't think it does, so I just wasted $5,000 on nothing. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna be a bad boy anymore. Because according to Mega Mind, thing about bad guys, they always lose. Like, he became a good guy, and his life actually improved, and I want that to happen to me. Also, I tried to take out a loan to buy my bad boy fit. So far, I can barely pay off the shirt, so being a bad boy made me go broke. And now I need a way to make money. Shut up. Also, if you're wondering why this video is all over the place, it's because every good guy needs his bad boy, and a bad boy can endure trash content. So if you're seeing this, you are now my new arch enemy. We will battle in... I actually don't know what game we can fight in, but trust me, by the next video, I'll figure something out. So get ready, because soon, I, Max Level Adult, will be able to legally beat children. <laughs>